How's it going guys? MCF Got Milk here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to check your oil. There's a few basic things you need to do. One, make sure your car is on solid ground. Make sure it's leveled easily. Two, common sense. You just got to learn how to read a oil off a level. And three, you're going to need a paper towel. And maybe get your hands dirty depending on how much of a messy person you are. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so first things first. How do you tell where your, how to check your oil? You got to look for the dipstick. The dipstick is usually an orange tipped like stick going into the engine. I'll show you what mine looks like. So my, my dipstick is located right there. And I'll tell you how to do what you need to do. All right, so go for the dipstick. Pull it out and you gotta take your towel and wipe it down. Wipe it completely off, make sure there's no oil on it. Like that's what I mean, I'm a dirty person so I'll get oil on my hands of course. But no biggie, it's just oil. Right after you're done wiping it down, put it back in and take it back out and you should be ready to read. Before you put it back in and all that stuff, I changed the angle so you can see it a little better because it was not showing it, so I'm sorry about the change of camera, but you see the one dot there and two dot there? That's how you tell. You want to make sure your oil is covering just at that dot. You don't want to make sure it's over. If it's over, you're causing engine damage. And if you're like pretty much at there, it means get your oil checked or you're checking it, but make sure you get it changed because you really need to get it changed. So without further ado, I'll show you how to read it. Okay, so like I told you, you got to put it in, take it out, wipe it down, take it, put it back in, take it back out. Well, here it is. There's the second line. The other line's right there. I'm about halfway full. You can kind of see, there it is right there, the part where it has to kind of get changed. It's, I'm halfway full, so pretty much I do need an oil change. That's what I would say. But that's really much the easiest way to check your oil. All right, guys, I hope you learned something from this. That's how you check your dipstick, and that's how you check your oil. So without further ado, I'll let you guys go. If you guys have any tips on me for what I should have done or how you wish you would have saw it, please leave in the comments below. I kind of know it's a little iffy, and I'm sorry if you can't hear me about the wind because it is pretty windy out. But I tried to make the camera focus on dipstick, and it really wasn't working out. Plus, the sun's going in and out, so that also doesn't help. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.